Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com and welcome to this week's episode of The Dog Pound where I will be rounding up all of the mobile technology news from this past week. So let's get started with the Galaxy S3 because we finally have release dates for all five US carriers. That's right, five. It's going to be coming to AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, and US Cellular. So pre-orders for the Verizon version will begin on June 6th with pricing starting at $199. The T-Mobile version will hit on June 21st, though we don't have any pricing information just yet. The Sprint version will also launch on June 21st with pricing again starting at $199. The Sprint version will also have Google Wallet preloaded. The US Cellular version will launch in July with pre-orders kicking off on June 12th. Now, although US Cellular will be carrying both the blue and white models, the 32 gigabyte variant will come in white only. And lastly, pre-orders for the AT&T version will begin on June 6th with a release to follow in the coming weeks. AT&T will also be carrying an exclusive red version coming later this summer. Samsung also gave us some information on the specs for the US version. You probably know that the international version has a quad-core processor, but we kind of knew that the US version wouldn't have the same processor if it was going to be a 4G device. So now we know that all US versions will have a 1.5 GHz dual-core Snapdragon S4 processor. Along with that, the US variants will have 2 GB of RAM, and if this leaked render is to be believed, they will all have the physical home button that the international version has. So now that we finally have release dates for the Galaxy S3, are you guys going to be picking one up? Let me know in the comments below. Speaking of the Galaxy S, if you have the Galaxy S2 on T-Mobile and you're still waiting for Android 4.0, here's some news for you. T-Mobile just let us know that the Android 4.0 update will start rolling out to their Galaxy S on June 11th. So keep your eyes open for that update. So let's move on to some iPhone news. Last week we got tons of leaked pictures of the next iPhone and these pictures really tell us a lot about what to expect. So as you can see, it has a new hardware design, a smaller dock connector, and it will have a larger screen according to these pictures. Now the rumors are that it will have a 4-inch display with a resolution of 1136 by 640, and this display will not be wider, but simply taller than the current iPhone. We can also see that Apple is keeping the unibody construction, and this will help them to squeeze more into the iPhone with less space, which will help if they're planning on making it a 4G device. Now, does that mean it will be a 4G device? Not necessarily, but it certainly helps. Now, as you probably know, WWDC is coming up next week, and we probably won't see the new iPhone there, but one thing we will see is iOS 6. At least that's what we're thinking we're going to see. And so we're expecting a lot of new features, and one of those new features is Apple's new Maps application. Now this is something we've been hearing about for a while now, but last week we got some leaked pictures of the new application. Now by looking at these renders, we can kind of get an idea of what the UI will look like, and it basically carries that same iOS UI with the silver navigation bar, but we also see some of the functionality. So it has a 3D button, and it has a button that helps the user to pinpoint their location. So check out that article to see some of those pictures as well as the iPhone pictures and keep on phone dog as we keep you updated on all the news from WWDC. Now, although we won't see the new iPhone at WWDC, we're hearing that we could see it sometime this fall, which is kind of a long ways away. So if you don't want to wait that long, or maybe you want to get one now, but you don't want to be stuck under contract when the new one comes out, then here's some good news for you. The iPhone will be coming to Cricut on June 22nd. So you can buy it outright, $500, no contract, and use Cricut service until the new one comes out, or just as long as you want to. Along with that, we're hearing that it could also be coming to Boost Mobile, but that's just a rumor. We'll let you guys know if we hear anything new about that. And lastly, we'll finish up with some news about the Google Nexus tablet. Last week, it appeared as an entry on a benchmarking site. Now, in the entry, the tablet is called the Google Asus Nexus 7, which basically tells us that it will be made by Asus, and it will have a 7-inch display. But we also found out that it will have a 1.3 GHz quad-core NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor. Now we've heard these specs from rumors in the past, but hearing them again, especially from a benchmarking site, which means it was probably the actual tablet that used this site, kind of makes those other rumors a little more believable. Again, we'll keep you guys updated on these rumors. 
So that's the news and that is the show. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com and I will see you guys later. Bye.